Hello and welcome to episode 51 of the Flight Sim Historian. For this episode, we are going to be looking at the United States Navy Blue Angels. The Blue Angel is the the Blue Angels is the United States Navy's flight demonstration team with aviators from the United States Navy and Marine Corps. They were firm, formed in the uh, April of 1946, making them the second oldest formal flying aerobatics team after the Patrol in Defiance, which formed in 1931. Roughly 11 million people see the Blue Angels perform in air shows each year. The current fleet of United States Navy Blue Angels aircraft includes three F-A-18As, one F-A-18B, ten F-A-18Cs, two F-A-18Ds, and one C-130T Hercules. The C-130T Hercules, affectionately nicknamed Fat Albert, has been the team's support aircraft since 1970. From 1975 until 2009, the aircraft was used for JATO demos at air shows, although they deceased. This practice was due to dwindling supplies of rockets. The team began operations in 1946 with the Grumman F-6F Hellcat. Later that year, they were replaced by the newer Grumman F-8F Bearcat. In 1949, the team acquired a Douglas R-4D Skytrain for logistic uses. Also in 1949, the Blue Angels transitioned to their first jet fighter, the Grumman F-9F2 Panther. In 1953, the team traded their R-4D Skytrain for a Curtis R-5C Commando. In 1954, the team switched from the straight-winged Panther to the swept-wing F-9F8 Cougar. In 1956, the Blue Angels retired their Commando for the four-engined Douglas R-5D Skymaster. In 1957, the team again transitioned, this time to the supersonic Grumman F-11F Tiger. In 1968, the logistics aircraft was replaced by a Lockheed VC-121J Constellation. The next year, the F-11F Tiger was replaced by the two-engined McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom II. In 1970, the Constellation was replaced by United States Marine Corps Lockheed KC-130F Hercules, which was soon replaced by the C-130T. In December of 1974, the F-4 Phantoms were replaced by the smaller subsonic Douglas A-4F Skyhawk. And in November of 1986, the Blue Angels completed their 40th anniversary year by unveiling the aircraft they currently use for display, the McDonnell Douglas slash Boeing F-A-18 Hornet. In addition to the eight demo and five support aircraft that the Blue Angels have used over the years, they have also operated a T-6 Texan, used to simulate a Japanese Zero in air shows in the late 1940s, a Lockheed T-33 Shooting Star, used in the 1950s for VIP transport, and a pair of Vought F-7U Cutlasses, a side demo during the 1953 season, in which they were considered so ungainly that they were left at a certain air show and never returned to the Navy. One, I believe, is in a museum, and then I think the other was scrapped. Now, there have been several mid-air collisions involving the Blue Angels. There were two Panthers in 1952, two Phantoms in 1973, two Skyhawks in 1985, and two Hornets in 1990. Some notable Blue Angels alumni include astronaut Chuck Brady, Donnie Cochran, the first African-American Blue Angels aviator, Robert Rasmussen, an aviation artist, and Patrick Walsh, former commander of the United States Pacific Fleet. Now, a number of Blue Angels pilots have lost their lives, both uh, as Blue Angel pilots and in the line of duty. These include Lieutenant Ross Robinson, Commander Robert Glasgow, Lieutenant George Neal, Lieutenant Commander Dick Oliver, Lieutenant Frank Gallagher, Captain Ronald Thompson, Lieutenant Bill Worley, Lieutenant Larry Waters, Lieutenant Niall Kraft, Lieutenant Michael Curtin, Lieutenant Commander Stu Powery, Lieutenant Commander Mike Gershon, Lieutenant Commander Kevin Davis, and most recently, Captain Jeff Coos. All right. So let's get this party started.
interesting that the exterior model does not show the wings folded, but the interior model, looking out, does show them folded.
Oops. Fucking first episode of the series. 